Hello, my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your daily tarot reading for Thursday, June 23rd, 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general for the day for all 12 signs, so just take what resonates. But uh, let's jump right into it and pull from the Pure Magic Oracle deck, and then we will uh, use a small everyday tarot to further speak upon the day. Oh, today I'm going to recommend you check out Tenacious Soul. Her tarot channel is uh, absolutely amazing. She has a very healing, calm energy about her that um, I feel you'll enjoy, okay? And, um, okay, they're saying relate to or simply benefit from. She also does daily readings for the collective on her uh, Instagram. Tenacious Soul, I'll leave that down below. For my beautiful souls for Thursday. for Thursday. I'm hearing ready to conquer, ready to conquer. Okay. A day to change your mind. We have um, opening circle, protection, ritual, lessons, simplicity. There is a simplicity about this day that you desire and will most likely come to be as long as you keep um, a positive perspective or you just uh, don't overcomplicate things or don't allow others to do so. The number 33 coming into play uh, angel number wise and I really feel like with this hand in the upright position I'm really seeing it as a hazma and I, in the upright position it talks about protection and I really feel like you are being reminded that you're protected in whatever you wrap oneself up and um, up in excuse me if I could even say it I really feel like you're thinking about a brand new endeavor or um, a leap of faith in the near future is what I'm hearing all right um, but it really feels like with opening circle being the name of this card, there's a completion that hasn't come to be yet, right? And it's on your mind, it's uh, somewhat of a focus, and it feels like it could be your motivation for making money, accomplishing what you need to. Um, bonding with people will come easily throughout this day. Um, interesting. <laughs> and it does say protection down there. It's, I'm spoken through so heavily that... Um, it just comes out the way it's meant to come out but now being drawn to the spider here and i feel like you're being pushed to recognize that you weaving your web putting in the hard work um multitasking however it ends up working out for you it's paying off okay numbers going up progress taking place people liking what you have to offer and i really feel like it's a day to make money even though you might need to adjust your perspective from time to time or at one key point throughout the day, you won't be the only one, all right? Keep things simple as you make your way through the day and uh, they're saying kick some ass, all right? Um, but I feel like as well with this at the bottom of the deck, this levitation card, there's a level of mastery taking place or being viewed. People seeing you as someone who's mastering what they're doing. You can even find that someone else is mastering something you already have and you may be part of that process um, in as far as teaching goes or assisting. Your helpful nature will come into play throughout this day quite uh, prominently. I do feel like you're going to be pushed to uh, by your spirit guide or spirit guides to meditate at the beginning of this day, all right? Or at the very least, end your day with some meditation music uh, to help oneself um, head into dreamland, all right? But I do feel like you need to keep your vibration high, and it doesn't mean you have to overexude. but it's a day where your high vibration will set the mood. It will come in handy, okay? It'll benefit you and others. What else do we have for this upcoming Thursday? I also feel like with these flowers here, there's a focus on you and others blossoming within a situation. Okay. What else do we have for Thursday? We have the Two of Pentacles. It's a day of going through a balancing act. You may be thinking about a decision you have to make in the future as they show me the lover's card. Um, a choice, if you will. I feel as if it's a day where you know multiple ships are coming in for you, but it's this big question mark. How is this going to come to be or when exactly for some of you is this going to come to be? You may know when it's going to happen, but question um, how it's going to come to be or how easily. The answer is, the reminder is that what's meant for you will always be and it won't feel super um, struggle filled, right? It'll just feel as if it's naturally meant to organically 
come to be, okay? But I also feel like you just, um, again, have to multitask throughout this day and um, simply get the job done, okay? Impress all the meanwhile. And we also have the Four of Pentacles. And I really feel like you are thinking about your savings, okay? Financial savings. You could even be thinking about your control or lack there of which within a situation. I feel as if there could be some distractions throughout this day, but uh, placed quite purposely, uh, potentially by spirit or just in general, where you're meant to take your eye off of the prize for a hot second to remember what you're going after or to, um, interesting, or you're meant to get distracted from a specific conversation or moment because you may overshare or it's just, there's another reason why you're meant to uh, look away or just stop what you're thinking, okay? You're being protected is what I'm hearing. So again, a reminder throughout this day or just remember in general that protection from spirit comes in a multitude of forms, all right? Even if you can't fully grasp that in the moment or it doesn't, it comes in different forms. Um, the nine of cups, okay, so did you hear how I said that? I feel like there could be a moment of frustration throughout this day or just you might accidentally get very short with somebody um, or it may be more stemming from somebody else's energy. But with the nine of cups and the page of cups, it feels like you are in the quest for, along the quest for a, um, they're saying financial fulfillment, something fulfilling, something rewarding, a wish fulfillment, if you will, that's wrapped up with your money somehow. You may feel as if you have to make a certain amount of money to get to where you want to go or to accomplish what you need to. Um, I feel as if you're just desiring as well more eyes on what you're producing and developing, more recognition, and they're saying more rewards all the meanwhile. But I do feel like you are being viewed as the Page of Cups, um, somebody who has youthful vibes, but a mature, wise soul all the meanwhile. I feel like someone's going to offer you something throughout this day and it feels um, helpful, but it just doesn't feel like it's enough. But they're saying that's a minor moment throughout the day. Try to focus on what's at hand in a larger sense. Everything adds up is what I'm hearing. What else do we have for Thursday? Your hair will come into play for some. It may be um, someone complimenting it or thinking about getting a haircut, dyeing it, you name it. Uh, King of Swords, definitely being viewed individually as a very wise soul. Your wisdom, your knowledge, your experience coming into play. And again, I feel like for a lot drawn to this reading, it could um, assist in helping others or one specific person. There's a level of fulfillment that will stem from helping somebody or multiple people throughout this day. You're beaming with, um, with gratification is how it's coming through. And it reminds you that you're meant to help people along your path. You're meant to inspire. You're meant to use what you've been through, the ups and downs, to assist in a lot of ways, okay? With the Empress, I just feel like, yeah, again, you're thinking about giving birth to something new. Even if things aren't horrible where you're at or there are some great benefits, it just feels like recently you've been reminded that some situation is temporary while another situation is more permanent or you're heading towards that more permanent state or situation but i feel like you're embodying this king of swords vibe at certain points throughout the day uh, energy way of being but more so i feel like the king of pentacles is shining through as you're very focused on your money okay very focused on the fruits of your labor jewelry taking a focus or being on one's mind i feel like you are reminding oneself that you do love to make money, okay? But you love to help people more so if you were to really break it down and um, focus on how you truly feel, okay? And it's okay to want to wrap oneself up with both. Money is a necessity, right? But helping people is, I feel like, a necessity for your soul growth, for your soul fulfillment. And that's, it's a day that reminds you of just that, okay? I'm hearing you're protected when doing so. But there are certain points in the day where you have to keep the hope alive, okay? And it, it could be more so when it comes to a situation you're wrapped up with, but it could also be more so when it comes to giving birth to something you know intuitively is meant to happen, but feels a little bit far out or just there are certain um, obstacles that you've had to overcome even to 
step closer to it, right? But all the meanwhile, I just feel like it's a day that also reminds you that you're a star in the making. And I feel like once again, in the midst of all of which, you're connecting with people quite easily. And I feel like um, you may feel the need to protect one person or a couple of people throughout this day. But I do sense that you are reminded from the universe through somebody else that you're a freaking star, that you have the knowledge and wisdom to take whatever you desire to the furthest extent, to the highest, okay, of realms, the highest um, levels of success. I just feel like it's a day of success that um, reminds you that you, once again, are protected in the midst of trying to change things within your situation for the better and uh, making money, uh, all the meanwhile helping people, all right? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Go have yourself an amazing Thursday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.